Hi everyone, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the quiz that is available and I've done a deep dive into a couple of questions on the different modules that apply to the different areas that we've been exploring on this course. But there is a download for the quiz that you can um, download and print out and work through in your own time. And it's really there for you to understand and to, to you know, get a sense of where am I now and where is it I want to be and how can I get the support to get there. So take some time to mull it over. Um, I'll just run through the different questions here and you can understand them. Um, so you can rate your confidence on one to five, one being very confident, five being no, no confidence at the moment. And it's OK if you've got no confidence. That's what this training is about. Um, but it's equally, you know, getting to that point where you feel very confident is ultimately where we want to be and why you invest in training and development to get there. So there's eight questions in the quiz. Um, so I'm just going to run through what those different ones are. So number one is how confident do you feel prioritizing requirements with clients and agreeing what is in and out of scope if they do not have sufficient budget using agile project management? So that'd be the first. The second is how confident do you feel adjusting your style of delivery for different personalities, organizational culture and different learning styles to make the project run smoothly? Quite often the challenges of projects is managing people, not technology. Number three is how confident do you feel billing people for your time as a Salesforce professional? Most sales professionals will have to do research on solutions, communicate, gather requirements, build a requirement, test and train, which is all chargeable time. Do you feel comfortable billing for your time across those areas? Next is about how confident do you feel getting clients ready for technology projects and how, do and how do you manage them if they aren't quite doing the preparation work they need to? How do you handle that? Number five is how confident do you feel needing, how do you, I'm sorry, how confident do you feel needing additional technical expertise or sourcing if it's beyond your ability to meet the needs of the client? Do you know how to go about that? Um, do you know where you go for support? Number six, how confident do you feel preparing documentation for a project? Do you have a consistent approach to process mapping, documentation, documenting requirements and deliverables, preparing user testing and training material? Number seven, how confident do you feel managing and communicating with clients throughout a project to keep them enthused, excited and engaged throughout it to establish buy-in and user adoption? And number eight, how confident do you feel managing projects in time and in budget, managing your own capacity and using a project management system? That's where we want to get you to at the end of them. So obviously you can rate yourself now, think about where you want to be, invest in further training and support, whether that's with supermoms or somebody else, to really develop those skill sets and those confidence levels to get to those dark greens. That's where we want you to be if you want to be in this role. So I hope that's been useful for you. Obviously, take your time to print it out and go through it in your own time and have a read through all the level of detail, which is far too small for a PowerPoint. But I hope that's been useful. Thank you. Take care.